Hello, my name is Sid Wilroy, and I was going to go through basically setting up TerraTerm for your terminal emulation program to a Cisco 2600 router that I have set up and running. First off, on downloading TerraTerm, uh, this is the uh, the website I go to is the vector.co.jp um, site, Japanese site, and the most the most current version, which is obviously very old at uh, um, 11 years old, but is the uh, TerraTerm 2.3. Uh, so I've downloaded this this program and extracted it. I've run the uh, self-installer, which will install in your programs directory, as well as linking uh, to a user and other users that are have accounts on the system. And don't be concerned with the uh, the age of the program. It works fine with XP. Server 2003, Server 07, and Vista. So once I've downloaded that and then I've installed the program, uh, what I want to do now is uh, run TerraTerm. So I've, I'll start up TerraTerm. And um, what we want to do is we want to, this can also uh, be a Telnet uh, TTY uh, connection. You could, uh, there is a plugin for SSH. Uh, that's a, just a small DLL that you drop into the TerraTerm in installation directory, and um, it works fine. But uh, I've just used the stock, the standard TerraTerm that I downloaded. You'll select the serial, and then here you'll see that there's only uh, four COM ports that are located. When I I'm using a USB to uh, serial connection, and I, it's from Radio Shack, and I've installed the, the drivers for it, one of the issues are that it comes up in uh, COM5, so you'll have to make sure that you change your um, settings for your uh, uh, serial connection, because most uh, laptops don't come with a uh, actual DB9 serial connection on the back. So you'll have to go in here, and I just you just go into Device Manager. Uh, once that comes up, you'll look down to the ports, which are the COM and L uh, LPT ports. And then there you see it defaulted to COM5. So all you have to do is uh, I want to go to Properties. And then once that comes up, um, then Port Settings. And then as you can see, those are the settings that are uh, pretty uh, more average for any kind of uh, communication. So you go to uh, Advanced. And here, this is where I'm going to change my, uh, I'm going to change it to COM2. And then hit OK. Um, and then hit OK again, and then it still says uh, COM5, but you can say uh, scan for hardware changes, and then that should change it to COM2 now. Yeah, so that changes it to COM2, and then you can close that out, and then close out the uh, system settings, and then we're going to then go to COM2, and um, hit OK, and uh, we should be up. Oh, see here we are, and then I'll just uh, do a enable and uh, do a reset and we can just make sure that everything is uh, um, oh, config t reset uh, reload I'm sorry uh, all right, exit this reload yes so right now it's uh, I'm uh, dealing with a completely stock uh, there is no configuration on this router but I want to just do a reload um, to show you that uh, that all everything is printing to the screen. So once this comes up, so this is a C2600 platform with a grand total of 24 megs of main memory. And this is uh, self uh, depressing, uh, depress, uh, decompressing the image, and this is uh, pretty cool about the 2600 over the uh, 2500. Both um, very an old platform, but they work fine. Uh, that the on the 2500, um, it doesn't show the hash marks when it's decompressing the image. So here you can see that it's uh, you know actually doing something rather than just staying at a prompt, which you would have at a 2500. And uh, basically, we can go um, after this. We can go through on now. It's finished decompressing the actual iOS image, which is loaded from the flash. So we have a.
flash and then it comes up telling us uh, what version we're running which is the 12.0 version um, and then it's uh, well it's a 12.0 and then the rev 10 and so here it is would you like to enter the initial configuration and then uh, we'll get to all that in a minute but now we've uh, accomplished getting connected to the router and this is basically I've used my uh, USB uh, on Windows download the drivers from Radio Shack it then got a uh, DB9 connection at the end of the USB dongle I've connected a rolled cable of the DB9 female to a rolled male uh, which is um, and you can see the pinouts of a rolled cable if you look that up just do a search for rolled cable and then that's connected into the console port of my Cisco uh, 2600 router and now I've used TerraTerm to connect on COM2 to my router. Thank you.